Hi everyone, Natalia here, and I'm going to be reading you Commotion in the Ocean. And beside me, I have my fish tank and several of my fish. I don't know if you can spy them. I'm gonna bring you a little bit closer. I have one little guy. Do you see him hiding in there? There's one. Do you spy anybody else? They like to hide behind rocks. Oh, do you see some of them darting around in the back? And then some of them hide behind some of the other rocks and things that I have in here because they're a little bit shy. So I thought that I would read you today, Commotion in the Ocean. And you can see some of the sea creatures that we're gonna meet in this book today. We have an octopus, a shark, maybe a whale, and some little fish on the side. That might look like an angelfish. Let's find out. Commotion in the ocean. I wonder who we're gonna meet first. There's a curious commotion at the bottom of the ocean. I think we ought to go and take a look. You'll find every sort of creature that lives beneath the sea swimming through the pages of this book. There are dolphins, whales, and penguins. There are jellyfish and sharks. There's, a, there's the turtle and the big white polar bear. But can you see behind the wrecks and in between the rocks? Let's take a look and find who's hiding there. So in poems, poems are, are uh, created with often with rhyming words at the end. A lot of the, um, the poems that we learn in preschool have rhymes in them. So see if you can train your ear to listen for the rhyming words in this book for each and every sea creature that we meet. Who's first? <gasps> it's the crab. The crab likes walking sideways, and I think the reason why is to make himself look sneaky and pretend that he's a spy. Do you see him being sneaky there? <gasps> Who's next? <gasps> the turtles. We crawl up the beach from the water to bury our eggs on dry land. We lay a whole batch, and then when they hatch, they scamper about to the sand. Scamper, that's a fun word. Scampering turtles. <gasps> Who is it now? The dolphins. The wonderful thing about dolphins is hearing them trying to speak. It's not, how do you do? As I would say to you, it's more of a click, whistle, squeak. How many dolphins do we see on this page? Let's see. One, two grown-ups. Three, four, five, six. Four little babies and two grown-up makes six. Ooh, the angelfish, look at her. She thinks that she's quite beautiful. Let's see what she says. Hello, I'm the angelfish, darling. The prettiest thing in the sea. What a shame there are no other sea creatures as gorgeous and lovely as me. Is she wearing lipstick? Oh, who is this? Our friend the jellyfish. Let's see what the jellyfish has to say. The jellyfish just loves to jiggle, which other fish think is quite dumb. She knows that it's not all that useful but jiggling is lots of good fun. So let's see, here's the hood of the jellyfish and here are her tentacles. And why does she use her tentacles? Yes, because they're poisonous and they can sting their prey so that they have a nice delicious meal to eat. Oh boy. Watch out, everybody. Here comes the shark. I swim with a grin up to greet you. See how my jaws open wide. Why don't you come a bit closer? Please take a good look inside. You better swim away. Quick. Swim, swim, swim. Swim away. <gasps> Here he comes. Ow. 
who's next? Ooh, the swordfish. Look at that long swordfish. From the tip of his nose to the tip of his tail, he looks quite long. I love to chase after small fishes. It keeps me from getting too bored. And then when I start feeling hungry, I skewer a few on my sword. To skewer means to stick them through. Ooh! Octopus. I, having eight arms can be useful. You may think it looks a bit funny, but it helps me to hold all my children and tickle each one on the tummy. Look at all those tentacles that they have. They have several arms too. Let's see if we can count how many they have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm sure some of you know right off the bat that they have eight. And one fun fact about octopus is that they have nine brains. They have one in their hood and then they have eight more, one for each leg so that each leg can move on its own. Ooh. If you want to learn the sign for octopus, I think it's like this. You make an O and you put it on your hand. Octopus. You make its tentacles. Ooh, the stingray. There they are. You ready? At the bottom of the ocean, the stingray flaps his wings. But don't you get too close to him. His tail really stings. Hmm, I wonder why his tail stings. How does that help him in the ocean and her? Hmm, hmm. Ooh, who is this? Lobster. Never shake hands with a lobster. It isn't a wise thing to do. With a clippity clap and a snippity snap, he would snip all your fingers in two. Looks like they're dancing. Deep sea. Look at all of these sea creatures. <gasps> I see an anglerfish. Ooh, I feel see quite a few of these. I don't know what all of these are. Maybe you do. But these are the creatures that live, live deep, deep, deep down in the ocean. And there's not a lot of light down there. So a lot of them have electricity. Just like we turn the lights on in our house when it gets dark, they can turn the lights on with their bodies. Hmm. And when they do that, it twinkles. It attracts other animals and sea creatures. Then they can go, hey, come over here. And then they can have some lunch. Miles below the surface, where the water's dark and deep, live the most amazing creatures that you could ever meet. There are fish of all descriptions, of every shape and size. Some have giant pointy teeth and great big bulging eyes. Some of them can walk around and balance on their fins, but the strangest fish of all have glowing whiskers on their chins. The blue whale. There's no other beast on the planet as big as the giant blue whale. He measures a massive 100 feet long from his head to the tip of his tail. I heard some rhyming words. I heard whale and tail. Whale, tail. Do those words rhyme? Yes, they do. We're just a bunch of barnacles and all we do is cling. We know it's not that glamorous, but it is our favorite thing. Those are like little fish. They're kind of like shellfish a little bit. And they hold on to the bottoms of boats and onto whales and things like that. Walruses. Look at those walruses. Look at those tusks. Hmm. 
Why do you think they have such long tusks? How does that help them? Our bodies are covered with blubber, and our tusks are incredibly long. We're grumpy and proud, and we bellow out loud to show that we're mighty and strong. Oh, who's that in the background? <gasps> Penguins. Oh, look how playful those penguins are. We waddle around on our icebergs, which make our feet slither and slide. And when we get close to the water, we leap up with a splash off the side. Look at them. Oh my goodness. Sliding on that slippery ice. Oh, who's over here? <gasps> the polar bear. Deep out in the Arctic, the mommy polar bear snuggles up with all of her children since there's very, it's very cold out there. Hmm. I heard bear and there. Look at those sweet little babies. What a lot of creatures we have seen beneath the sea. What a lot of funny things they do. Some of them might lick their lips and eat you in one bite, and some might even want to swim around with you. The dolphin's very friendly and the lobster's very fierce, but the shark is the most dangerous by far. Can you name the other friends we've made along the way? See if you can tell me who they are. And that's the end of the story. So that was commotion in the ocean. And commotion means a lot of noise and a lot of activity. So there's a lot of commotion in the ocean, a lot of different sea creatures. Let's see, did our little friends enjoy the story today? Little fishies, did you enjoy yourselves? Oh, they're hiding. I wonder if they made some new friends in our book today. So you could go outside and you could make your own poems. You could find your own rhyming words if you were to go on a walk. You could go on a walk and look for a rock. That rhymes. You could try to find a word that rhymes with bird. Hmm, maybe you'll see a cat who's wearing a silly hat. You can make up your own rhymes as much as you want to. So look around your house. Look around when it's a nice day to go outside for a walk. You can look around and find things that rhyme. So what can you find that rhymes? Maybe you can make a whole list of them in your head or ask a family member to write them down for you. I hope you have a lot of fun and I'll see you next time.